The National Library Board NLBE did not award a fresh contract to the online learning platform Udemy Business because the new licensing model was several times the price of the old one. Parliament was told. Mr. Tan Kiat Hao, Senior Minister of State for Communications and Information, said that the new model also covered a much smaller number of courses. Responding to a parliamentary question on Wednesday, November 22, he also said that the new model offered by Udemy Business would restrict the number of users accessing the courses. He assured the House that NLBE is very concerned about the nutrition of the mind of Singaporeans and is exploring alternatives for learners who have been using the platform. Today reported earlier this month that access to NLB's subscription to Udemy Business will cease from December 15, a decision that had sparked unhappiness among some patrons. NLB said then that it was due to changes in the online learning resources licensing model and a significant cost rise. Without elaborating. On Wednesday, Mr. Tan said that he was unable to give the breakdown of cost for each user because such details may involve commercial sensitivities. He was responding to a follow-up question by Ms. Haney So, Member of Parliament for Marsiling UT Group Representation Constituency. Using the analogy of a buffet restaurant, he said that in the past, a patron could pay a fixed price upon entering the restaurant and be entitled to take food from various sections of the buffet. But with a new model, maybe the restaurant tells you that the price that you pay at the door is a few times higher now. You go into the restaurant, you're only entitled to a plate of rice and maybe two or three dishes of cooked food. Anything else you'd have to top up, pay extra, he continued. So the question for us is that with a much more expensive, costly model, does it still meet the needs of our learners? Mr. Tan added that Singaporeans who are still interested in courses offered by Udemy Business may use their credits from the National Skills Future Programme to fund such courses. They may do so by submitting their claims for reimbursement for completing such courses. NLB will also continue to identify suitable e-learning resources to replace offerings by Udemy Business and expects to make available new resources in the coming months.